Our second component of the monitor section is going to be an actual breakdown of our questionnaire. So we're going to do that, but first we're going to create the associated assessments with it. So we're going to go in assessment, create assessment, and we're going to add each of our components. So sleep quality, again I'm going to use the data value, we're going to keep things very simple. I'm going to copy and paste that into my label, and then all the way at the bottom of my drop down here. Um, or near the bottom before our devices, we're going to see our daily wellness questionnaire uh, components. So we can add sleep quality right in there. We can show our value. I only want to see today's value, so I'm not going to use latest value. Um, and I'm going to flip to my icon here. Again, all those different icons are in there. Maybe I would just want a bed so I can indicate sleep. It's on a one to five scale, so I'm gonna do zero and greater. So anything one or two is gonna be red, three is gonna be yellow, and then four or five is going to be green. So as you can see, greater than or equal to zero, red until you hit three, and then start with the yellow, until you hit four and start with the green. So we're gonna save that. So we're gonna go down, and we're gonna do that for each one of our um, questions inside of our questionnaire. So I got recovery, add my questionnaire component right in there, show value, not latest value, um, and everything like that. So recovery, I think we're gonna do this icon right here, um, and then we'll be good to go. Add our thresholds again, red, yellow, green. Again, zero, one, two, and one and two will be red, three will be yellow, four and five will be green. So we can add those no matter what our scale is um, for any metric that we have inside of the system. So when you're doing this, this can be used, um, the monitor can be used for a lot of different purposes when it comes to showing performance metrics, showing day-to-day -day, um, readiness indicators, everything like that can be done right here as well. I have a smile face for this one and add our assessments. Red, yellow, green and we're going to keep going through each one of ours. I have an energy question also show, associated with my questionnaire. Show value, skip over latest. Um, energy, we'll select that icon and then we'll keep going. Same structure for all of them. Seems fairly simple, um, but takes just a little bit here to set up beforehand and soreness. So data value assessment once again, copy this into our label, our question, show value, add these right in and hit save. So we added all five components of our questionnaire. Now all we do it, all we have to do is add to an assessment layout for a monitor. So when we do that, we're going to create a new monitor here. So questionnaire monitor. Again, we're going to leave it at scale, and then we're going to add our components right in there. our mood, energy, and soreness. So we add those right in, and then we have a daily questionnaire monitor. So when you do that, <clears throat> we're gonna go back home, settings, security, and devices again. So just bookmarking another monitor for us. We're gonna select bookmark, our training group, stallions. We're gonna leave everything alone, configurable. Um, and then we're gonna do our questionnaire monitor. So when we do that, we can see exactly how our athletes have responded to our questionnaire, and we can see this on a daily basis. So this is quite helpful for coaches that have this bookmarked on their computer, on their iPad, wherever it might be, uh, for them to be able to see quickly what's going on with an athlete on a daily basis. So Cole here, it looks like he's decently well recovered. He's in a pretty good mood, but his energy and his overall feeling um, and his sleep um, aren't the greatest. Um, and then we have Calvin here. He's, he's doing all right. Um, not the greatest on the energy, but he's doing a lot better than the rest of our guys. It seems like they're pretty fatigued. They've been practicing the past couple days. Um, maybe they need a rest day here on Wednesday. 
So you can do that all through a monitor. All of these update, of course, in real time as you add each component um, to the system. So as soon as an athlete completes their questionnaire, those values will update on that monitor without even having to refresh the page. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually take that one step further and we have our group dashboard here. We added our other ones for our assessments, um, so we have all our ranking ones. But we can do this with our questionnaire components as well. So just a little extra tidbit here uh, as to each part. So let's do sleep quality, add these in, and we're gonna do this right before the questionnaire sum so we can kind of see all of the components that we need. So we're gonna add sleep quality, recovery, mood, energy, and let's add soreness so we can both quickly move them up. Just drag and drop up to where they need to be. Save that. I'm going to close this on up, and then I'm just going to reload my group dashboard. So as soon as I see that, uh, I can, of course, see all of this right here on my dashboard here. Nice part about this is you can take a quick look. Okay, they've checked in, they've checked out. I know Calvin hasn't, um, but he's figured out. Um, uh, he's already con uh, completed his questionnaire. He's got his questionnaire sum. And I can see some basic metrics um, that I'm tracking on the performance side. So that is the main product review.